Hello, this is Brian Casey, Editor-in-Chief of AmpMini.com, and we're here at the 2016 edition of the RSNA meeting in Chicago. Uh, we're here with Dr. Felix Chu. He is a musculoskeletal radiologist at the University of Washington. Dr. Chu, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for inviting me. Now, um, you recently published a paper on burnout among MSK radiologists, and uh, you had some, some very interesting findings that I think are pretty relevant today with a lot of radiologists feeling more stressed out, more burned out. Uh, can you uh, start by telling us why you decided to study this topic? Well, there's, a, there's been a constant drumbeat in the lay press about burnout in physicians. And I was feeling kind of burned out myself, so I thought maybe this is something we should look into a little bit more deeply than the superficial articles that are published in the newspaper. And so how did you start your study? Well, we started by looking at the literature on burnout to see what had been published previously by other researchers. Uh, and we found that while radiologists were included in those studies, they were included as a single group, as if every radiologist had the same job. We thought that perhaps it was more important to look at subgroups and look at particular jobs and particular uh, demographic features of individual radiologists to see if those contributed to burnout. And so you guys put together a survey and, uh, and what, what sort of questions were on it? A large number of the questions were demographic questions asking things like what is your practice setting, your gender, um, how long have you been practicing, things like that. And we also had items that we adapted from the MASLAC burnout inventory to assess the level of burnout in our respondents. And so what, what are some of the things on that MASLAC test? How, how uh, can, can people recognize burnout from that? MASLAC has three types of burnout subscales. One is emotional exhaustion or just the feeling of burnout with nothing left to give in your workplace. Another one is depersonalization where people feel more callous towards individuals in the workplace and perhaps their patients or clients. And the third is the lack of perceived uh, accomplishment in their job, sort of a feeling of futility, what they're doing does not make any difference. Okay. So you sent this survey out to a group of uh, musculoskeletal radiologists, and, and what sort of uh, responses did you get? Um, we had uh, a group of radiologists who were members of the Society of Skeletal Radiology, so they were all practicing musculoskeletal radiologists. And we had over uh, 400 responses out of about 1,200 uh, members. And so um, were there some findings in there that surprised you about what you found? I was a little bit surprised about the high level of burnout that we discovered. Uh, it was approximately 81%. And how does that compare to some other physician specialties? Um, other studies that looked at radiology in particular found burnout levels of between 50 and 60%. Um, and they found that Radiology was high on the list of subspecialties with burnout, but none of them had anything approaching our uh, finding of 80 percent. And why do you think that the, the, the level of burnout among MSK radiologists was so high? I'm not sure that it is uh, higher than any other type of radiologist. Our methodology was a little more detailed than other studies, so I think we found uh, burnout a little more prevalent than other studies might have because of the methodology. Now, uh, what sort of things are you planning for the future? Do you plan to expand this to other types of radiologists to find out if they're feeling the same way as the, the MSK radiologists? Uh, that would be nice to do. Unfortunately, I don't have access to those mailing lists, uh, but we do have a follow-on study where we looked at different things we thought might be causing burnout uh, stressors as it were, in people's lives and jobs. Um, so these would include things like uh, working conditions, uh, family responsibilities, and financial constraints. Okay. All right, anything else we should know about your research? Well, I think burnout is a very important factor in uh, patient care. I think that you wouldn't want your radiologist to be burned out and reading your mother's x-ray. Uh, so I think it's very important that it be addressed, uh, both for the health of the practitioner as well as for the patients they take care of. Very good. Well, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for asking me. All right. Signing off for AntMini.com, my name is Brian Casey.